welcome to the 27th episode of Working on Fire News. Nombusom Tembu of Coltonville based in Gauteng is an aspiring businesswoman. The Communications and Fire Awareness Department attend a workshop and Gauteng Ground Operations Manager Homoto Moachi shares her journey in working on fire. Nombusom Tembu from Coltonville based in Gauteng province enjoys being a firefighter at her base. Not only is she a firefighter, but she's a woman who is growing her dream of running her own business. She has already taken steps in the right direction to do so. This business is, is multi-purpose. I've started with catering in our municipality, Merafong municipality, catered. Then, then I've seated with my partners and realized that this catering it won't help us because it's only we only cater for our municipality. Then they only call us maybe once in three months time. So we didn't get money for that. Although Nombuso didn't have enough money, that didn't stop her. She had another plan. Then we decide we we decided to go in Soweto to meet other people. Their name is Sekopa. It's a company, Sekopa in Soweto. Then we go there, then they help us with some other ideas. They show us their businesses. Then I've seen that, that the idea to take this business, HDP, I, HDP manufacturing of these pipes. So it's huge. These, these pipes, they are used to, for water. You know, in mines, they are used it since we are in the in mine industry. I've seen that this will help us, we'll get money from it. Nombuso is fast growing her business, and with her hard work and dedication, her business venture will definitely reach greater heights. Communications officers together with the Fire Awareness team held a week-long strategic session in Madrid in September. They wanted to make sure that the communication strategy is aligned to the commitments made in the DEAR contract. The workshop program included a motivational guest speaker and a session on writing skills. This is the major part of what these communications people in Working on Fire do. And, um, and one of the things I shared with them is that if they can transform their newspapers, their newsletter, to have headlines and images that capture action, headlines that capture emotion and color, and articles that can capture the actual descriptions of what people do and that are interesting, then I think that we will have an amazing product on our hands. The meeting kicked off with the communications executive Yvette Francis who gave an overview of the communications commitments to DIA. This was followed by the managing director Trevor Abrams who highlighted some of the communication challenges facing the program. I mean, we've learned a lot, things that we never, never like had an understanding about. But now we are clear on some, some of the other things that I can touch on. Um, going back to our provinces, we'll be able to implement more as we are now geared up with more information. Like on our targets, there were questions that we had around our targets, but now we are clear. The Fire Awareness Video Unit and Coms had separate workshops and then came together to share the plan going forward. The Video Unit also gave training to all with regards to how to conduct a shoot. The meeting was also designed to make sure that the communications cluster in each province are working well, sharing information and working in synergy. It's been very helpful to us uh, with uh, regards to the issues that we had in terms of our deliverables. Um, We've learned a lot in such a way that when we go back to our provinces, we'll be able to deliver because the challenges that we have met in terms of meeting the targets and working with schools and communities have been addressed in this training. And therefore, I confidently say that we'll go back and deliver. The week ended off with everyone excited, inspired, clear and ready to take the comms department forward. A ground operations manager is responsible for all operational functions in the province. Homocho, yes, uh, working on fire's first and only female ground operations manager, takes every opportunity to be on the fire line with the firefighters. 
She is very passionate about leadership, fitness training and guiding her province and she leads by example when on the fire line. Last month in Gauteng province, Sekerbos Nature Reserve was burning and Homocho and the team were operational. Even though the team was spending the night on the fire line, they still had the energy to sing and work together as a team. Teamwork is one of the values of the Working on Fire program. I went to the base, most around in Gauteng. I visit the base, I observe the base, and I know where my bases are leaking. And that's where I focus too much. All right. The moment I realize that people now they can say, oh, second boss is fantastic, or oh, Rode Plat is doing well, I don't focus on those ones. I went to the other bases that people, they can't see it. I make every standard to be equal in Gauteng, so that if you see, if you see a, a Seker boss, you impress, bear in mind that all Gauteng is just like that. It's not only Seker boss, it's not only Rode Plat or Mahalisbeck. All the bases are the same. Yes, ma'am. You can hear the fire is picking up. Yes. Do you have a castrel with you? Okay, well, that's fine. Then you must borrow me that castrel as well, alright? Yes, ma'am. You must keep the castrel and keep us updated as well, alright? And that is all that we have for you for working on fire news. Remember, if there's anything happening in your province, please communicate that through to your communications officer. See you next time.